the atmosphere here, as I said, everybody shouting and cheering. And there's just a sample of the crowd here, absolutely packed. Break comes down towards Paul McKillen. This is Brian Donnelly. Brother of left cornerback Desi. Gives it inside to Donald Armstrong. And there's a good score for Antrim. Donald Armstrong, a name synonymous with Antrim, son of the legendary Kevin. Over towards Joe Dooley. Gets the better this time of Leonard McKeegan. Can he finish it off? Very well played indeed by Joe Dooley. Interesting thing about Niall Patterson is that when Lockheed Shamrocks won the All-Ireland Club title, they beat St. Rhinos of Offaly. This is Dominic McMullen giving it inside to Terence McNaughton. Jim Troy just getting the hurl into it, but it goes over the bar. Good score for Antrim. This is Dominic McKinley from Lockheed Shamrocks. Known to his pals as Woody. He gives it inside to Paul McKillen. Being tackled by Pat Delaney. Still McKillen. He's in front of goal. And he puts it over the bar. A vital score for Antrim. Kyle Patterson is a lead guitarist with Leanne Raviera. Country Western and pop band. And they'll be singing tonight if Antrim qualify for the All-Ireland Final. This is Terence McNaughton. Getting it inside to Ulkin McFetridge. Aidan Fogarty right beside him. Giving it across to Donald Armstrong. And that's another point. A white flag flowing gently as Antrim keep in touch. And now only just two points between the sides. Jim Troy with the puck out. His brother John, minor and under-21 keeper with Offaly this season. They've won the Leinster title. So it's a goalkeeping family. As Johnny Pilkington looks at... The post and sends it sweetly over the bar. Good score by Johnny Pilkington. An easy one indeed for Terence Donnelly. And Bally Castle McQuillans, described as the next parish to Iceland if you ignore Rathlin Island. Beautiful description. Kieran Barr. Down towards Brian Donnelly. Dropping one in towards Alton McFetridge. Marvellously caught. Tim Troy, surely a penalty. It has to be. No question whatsoever. Oh, marvellous feeling by Alkin McFetridge. Beaver McCarry up against Jim Troy, Aidan Fogarty and uh, Eugene Coughlin. Fogarty, Troy and Coughlin against McCarry from Loch Giel. He's going for goal and he's got it! Beaver McCarry has done it for Antrim. Well, the people might have come to Croke Park to watch goal win Tipperary, but this could well turn out to be a thriller as Niall Patterson dropped it. He put up his hurley and it's a goal for Offaly. Well, what a turnaround. Vincent Tehan has put Offaly back in front. And Eugene Coughlin having the time to gather the ball. Plays his club hurling with Sir Kieran, Sir Kieran, who won the Offaly Club Championship for the very first time last year. He's more anxious now to get into an All-Ireland final. Look at this, Roy Mannion. Won an All-Ireland minor three years ago, and he's going for glory again. But he deserves success because he worked very hard indeed. A fine point for Offaly, a fine point for Roy Mannion. Terence McNaughton just barely ever keeping it in. To Alcan McFetridge, back to Terence McNaughton. Aidan McCarry. And it's gone over the bar. Antrim keeping in touch. And now just trailed by two points. As we now have just two minutes, in fact, left to the halftime whistle. And drops one in around the house. Guy right, Patterson coming out together. And does so superbly. Gives it down towards Paul McKillen. Antrim need a score, coming up to the half-time whistle. But Jarakum Kelly is having none of it. It looks good. It is good. Offaly, 1-10. Antrim, 1-6. Puck out comes down towards Kieran Barr. Paddy Delaney. And in fact, there it is. Exactly on time. And it's half-time here at Croke Park. In the first game between Antrim and Offaly. Offaly lead by one goal and ten points to Antrim's 1-6. And he can hit it quite long indeed. 
and well blocked by the Offaly defence. They're under a little bit of pressure. This is Terence McNaughton trying to get past Roy Mannion. Jim Troy takes off the hat as the ball drops in. Comes back out to Kieran Barr. Oh, a fine point. A fine point indeed by Kieran Barr. So Offaly now with a total of 15 wides. And maybe they may regret those at the end of the 70 minutes. As Terence McNaughton drops one over the bar. That's a lovely point by Terence McNaughton. Known in Antrim as Sambo. John Pilkington. Good stuff by Desi Donnelly. The atmosphere, electric. And it certainly is very warm as well for these young hurlers as they battle it out. Just the game picking up a little bit in tempo as James McNaughton responds to the encouragement from the crowd here. Drops the ball down towards the front forward off from the cut edge. Yes! That's the goal that Antrim needed. Malcolm McFetridge, salute as he's known to his fans, has put Antrim ahead after almost 13 minutes of play in the second half. Just keep an eye on this man, Alken, turning his back. The ball broke to Alken McFetridge, and Clute, because he's a Kithogue, took one eye at the goal and rammed it into the right at corner of the net. The question, as we now have just 19 minutes left in this match, will the Glens of Antrim be singing to the sounds of victory tonight? Alken McFetridge has a bit of space, and he capitalises on it. That is a marvellous score. The man from Armoy has put Antrim now even further ahead. Three points separate the sides. Look at that for determination. The Leinster champions are in trouble, but they still have plenty of time. Ger Coughlin to Paddy Corrigan. On to John Pilkington. Dropping one in towards Dahi Regan. Offaly making wholesale changes. This is Joe Dooley and over the bar. Good score by Joe Dooley. The goalkeeper trying to get his forwards going. Paddy Corrigan not getting it. This is Aidan McCarry. It's high. Ah, oh, it is beautiful. Definitely the Glens of Antrim are alive. Marvellous score by Aidan McCarry. Joe Coughlin first to the ball. It delays with it as Brian Donnelly comes in. That's actually Kieran Barr. Getting it inside this time to Brian Donnelly. Antrim fighting for every ball. Offaly just not able to get their act together. Ball comes in to Alcon McFetridge. Yes! Magic McFetridge. A goal for Antrim, which puts them two goals in front. This could well be the shock of the year. Dare I say it? The shock of the decade. Alcon McFetridge has done it for Antrim. Watch this again. Kieran Barr sent it into Brian Donnelly. A high ball, right in around. In came Alcon McFetridge on the ground, one knee, hit it in, and bang. Antrim two goals in front. Ball down towards Kieran Barr. Big lad causing a problem for Ger Coughlin. In comes Aidan McCarry. This could well be it. Yes! Oh! I don't believe it! A rocket that has put Antrim surely into the All-Ireland Hurling Final of 1989. Well, what a magnificent goal. Can you believe that scoreline? Here's Kieran Barr. He really has sent in some dangerous uh, balls in there as Aidan McCarry came in and unleashed an almighty shot. Jim Troy had no chance. Oh, look at that heart. The ball comes down towards Kieran Barr, Paul McKillen, Aidan McCarry. This is Dominic McKinley. High and gloriously over the bar. They're playing inspirational stuff. This is Roy Mannion. The final whistle. Remember today, Antrim qualify for the very first time since 1943 for the All-Ireland Hurling Final of 1989. And that is really what the GA is all about. The crowd stands 
to the Antrim players. In fact, for the very first time in the All-Ireland semi-final, I see the crowd in Croke Park giving a standing ovation.